going to fall for these lame tricks. This carried on for the next few weeks, but then one time, he approached me in the library while I was studying with Kai and handed me a necklace. I looked at it, then passed it back to him and turned to talk to Kai. Seriously? You're turning me down for this nerd? Kai's smart, gallant, and sophisticated, unlike you. All you are is a troublemaker. Are you looking down on me? Oh, finally. I was wondering how much longer would it take for you to figure that out. Not to mention, you've not helped once with the English Lit essay. You're in my group, but you probably just think the Grapes of Wrath is a rock band or something. So, if I can finish that essay on my own, will you go on a date with me? Fine, but it has to score an A, else you can forget it. And my trick worked. Blake actually completed the essay on his own. He's smart, but he's neglectful of his studies, and it's made him make mistakes. On being handed back the essay, Blake's face fell. He got a B, and even though he knew it was over, he still stayed in class to reread the teacher's comments. It seemed like this was the first time he actually put in the effort to do something. <laughs> What's wrong? Still in denial of your failure? Blake turned away without looking at me. The rich boy who lost the game for the first time looked so cute. So I put a gift with a message in it on Blake's desk. Needless to say, he was over the moon. In it was a set of clothes I bought for him, and an invitation to a bar at the weekend. Why, you wonder? Oh, you'll see. That Saturday night, Blake showed up in the outfit I had gifted him, and looked anything but pleased. <laughs> I can't come in wearing this. It's so old-fashioned. My friends will laugh at me. You invited your friends, too? To prove that you won the bet, right? If you get that thousand dollars... Will I have a share? You already knew it? I was just joking at first. But now... Let's go inside now. Don't worry. We won't be here for long. I dragged him inside, and immediately, his friends didn't miss the opportunity to tease me. Did the fish get hooked? Yes, I'm trapped. Quickly give him a grand. His family is bankrupt and in dire need of money. Huh? What? You're lying. Look, he's wearing donated clothes. Even his branded clothes have been liquidated. I winked at Blake, and he immediately reacted. Lend me some money. I need a place to stay, a sports car, and pocket money too. At this point, his friends turned nasty and told him he no longer qualified to be in their group. You didn't have to do that. I already knew they only hung out with me for the money. But that's what people are just like. <sighs> Why would he think that? He must have never been cared for and loved properly. Get rid of that face. This is a date, after all. Let me make it up to you. A bar that matches this outfit. So I dragged Blake to our evening party. I told everyone that I brought a friend to lend a hand, and the elderly immediately made him do all sorts of things. Mrs. Hastings asked him to climb the tree to hang the string lights. Mr. Derbyshire called him to chop wood for the campfire, and Mr. Shaw wanted him to taste his homebrewed beer. Then the next second, Blake's already sitting on the drum throne. Huh, <laughs> it's been a long time since we had a young volunteer. That boy seems fine, doesn't he? I saw the way he looked at you. He's not suitable for me. I shrugged in response to her, and suddenly felt disappointed. Yes, I liked this different side to him, but we were still from different worlds. The next morning at school, I still saw Blake hanging out with his greedy friends. Looks like he hadn't learned his lesson. Frustrated that all my efforts were in vain, I swung open my locker. Hmm, what was this note? Meet me at the library at 6 p.m. when everyone has left. I have a surprise for you. B. I shouldn't be like this, right? Waiting for him at the library for hours until everyone left? Nervous and excited, but as soon as the last person left, the lights suddenly went out, and the library door slammed shut. What's happening? Could it be that the note wasn't from Blake? I screamed out of fear. That's right, I may excel at martial arts, but I hate the dark. 
With a shaking hand, I dialed the phone to call Blake, and then slumped down in fear and sobbed. At that moment, the sound of the door unlocking startled me. As soon as the door opened, I quickly ran to hug Blake. Are you okay? I can't believe Chloe did this. I told you not to get near them. Huh? This wasn't Blake's voice. Freya, are you okay? Oh my god, it was Kai who opened the door to save me. But I thought that... I quickly let go of him, then ran away in embarrassment. That's strange. When I was in danger, the first person I thought of was Blake. Could it be that I... really liked him? At that moment, the phone rang. It was my dad. Mrs. Jones had suffered a heart attack and needed surgery immediately. But the surgery cost was so much. Where could we get that money? Ah, oh, yes. Blake's dad. So I called him. Hello, is this Mr. Morris? Blake stopped hanging out with his friends and did his homework.